Hey guys, welcome to part one of our Photon server series. This this episode is just be mainly understanding how to actually connect to our self-hosted server. Okay, now I've already went ahead and got it done, so you, you don't have to watch me, you know, just do a bunch of importing and stuff. So I'll just go ahead and explain what I've had to do. Let's go to my port forwarding. Now where it says P1 and P2, you have to open up the ports 5055 on the inbound and local port, okay? Now P2, which is port 5056, we want to do it on the inbound and local port. Now make sure it is with your actual, whatever the computer it's hosted on, like let's say you have it on an actual server, or let's say your Windows machine. You want to actually use the IP of that machine, not your router, not your real IP, but the actual machine's IP. Okay, now there's ways you can go about doing that. Like, let's say we go to command prompt and we type in netstat. Okay, the very first thing you see is 127001, but right under that, 192.168.0.5. That is our computer's real IP, okay? So, whatever pops up after 001 for the 127, that should be, in theory, your computer's actual IP. Because if you notice, it's 127. There's like 10 of them. I didn't count them. But after that, it's strictly our local computer's IP. So, keep that in mind. Remember this, because that is how you get it. So... So, like, for example, say we want to add a port. If we come here, just name it whatever you want. 5055, 5055. Make sure it is UDP. I haven't tried both, but I, I just, I'm using UDP, okay? So, you can just type in that 192.168.0.5. Then 5055 here and here. And hit add virtual server. Oh, what did I do wrong? Yeah, UDP. What's wrong with that? Just one second. I want to try and rename it. I think it's probably because I already have the ports already open. So let's try this. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, so if they're already open, it's not going to let you do it. So you'll have to start over or delete the old ones. Because... Keep this in mind, if you do not have a static IP, if you do not set your computer to have a permanent IP for Windows itself, it will eventually change, because it's something to do with how networks work, I can't exactly tell you why, but sometimes your actual server or your computer, not the global IP, the global IP does change unless you have a static IP, but you can, I recommend Googling, typing in something like this. Um, local static IP. Okay. Now this will tell you how to actually make your computer have a static IP locally so it doesn't change. Because if that IP ever changes, you have to come back here, delete both of these, and do it again. Okay. But let me go ahead and delete the second one I just made. Or the third one, technically. Go ahead and delete that. Okay. Now, all you have to do is... Now, we want to actually go download Photon. So what we'll do is we'll come back to here. We need to get the actual server. So we'll come to server. Click on server. Now, the very first thing you want to do is try free license. When you click on that, you just register. You put your email. And they'll send you an email with the client and server SDKs. Okay. So, but what we really want is just the license. We'll get the server another way so we don't have to go through a bunch of stuff to do it. So you type in your email, blah, 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 at blah, 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 dot com. And then they'll send you an email that tells you how to get your license and all that. So now what we want to do is we want to just scroll down to the very bottom and click download SDKs. Download that. And just click this right here. And if you don't already have um, Photon for Unity, you can come over here and click download unity 3d sdk okay but we'll just 
for right now we're gonna get this right here I already have my server downloaded so I don't have to do it so just click that and it'll download it and keep in mind this is for local server bare metal Amazon EC2 or Azure VMS and whatever else this dots mean okay so now what we want to do is that license we got because the license the first thing you needed to do all right we'll come to our server this folder called deploy you click that now if you're using 32-bit windows click on that otherwise do 64-bit now your license file you just drag and drop it right in here just drag and drop it now well I think I already have server open yeah I already have the server open now you just double click photon control and it'll open your server and down here at the bottom right by your time and stuff it'll pop up this little white icon with blue circle around it just right click that and our license info as you can see we got 100 max connections never expires okay so we can get our license there might be a, a thing up here where you have to apply the license I don't remember it's been about a year since I've done it but yeah the license stuff you have to do right up in here okay now I'm not gonna go to the game server IP but whatever IP you're gonna use to connect with because I don't want everyone seeing my public IP but you wherever it says game server right there it'll show your public IP local IP and possibly even another public IP because apparently I have two public IPs from my photon I don't know why but go to what is my IP.com and it will show you your real IP for your public address so if you want other players from around the world to join you just stick that inside photon and I'll show you how to do that in a minute so whatever your game server IP config is just click on the one you want and then when we get in photon I'll show you how to do with that all right now that we got our server set up oh one more thing I didn't show you to start your server go to load balancing my cloud start as application we'll go ahead and do that which I've already done it now very first thing that's gonna happen you import photon and it's gonna ask for a key and or an app ID and all that stuff just hit skip and then hit close and this over here on the right will pop up immediately okay so the, what it's gonna first do is gonna pop up I believe since you hit skip it's gonna pop up on not set so and auto join lobby will be unchecked so what we want to do is we want to check auto join lobby self-hosted and then since I'm using my local IP so you know everyone doesn't see my public but whatever your what is my ip.com shows you put that as a server address okay and you just leave everything else alone like 5055 and protocol and all that because UDP is better than TCP so that's why I said before inside the um, port forwarding to use UDP because UDP is better all right now I've already went ahead and made a script all right now what we're doing is we're initializing photon to connect now where it says warhead it can be anything you want you can just put that if you want but keep in mind whatever this string is like let's say v1.0 that way it's just more understandable whoever is using version 1.0 will play 1.0 so if you have version 1.1 the players that haven't updated to version 1.1 will still only be able to connect and play with people with version 1.0 so keep in mind every time you update your game if you have like a patching system make sure this has changed to, to work with everybody for each version or you can just strictly you know just leave it alone I mean just always leave it like that and anytime you ever update your game whether you've made changes or not people will still play with them people okay so understand that if you make any updates and you want it to be different for new updates that way you know you don't have old bugs working with you know the new the new stuff then you want to make sure everybody gets that update but so for this case I'll do v1.0 okay so whatever you want to put in there that's all you have to do to connect okay then we'll do void on GUI this is just so we can see if we're actually connecting you don't have to put this later on down the road whenever you know everything is working you can go ahead and delete this 
Okay, so we do GUI layout dot label. Then we do photon network dot connection state detail to string. And that's all you have to do. Like, for example, let's say I want it to shut the game off if we connect. It may not work in the editor, but all you would have to do is void on joined lobby. That's it. So if we join the lobby, actually, I'm not going to cut it off. Let's do a debug log. Debug log. I have joined a lobby. Yay. All right. Now all we do is save it. And we'll go to console. That way we can see what's going on. And now that script we created, we were just dropping on a game object. And we hit play. Connect. I have joined a lobby. Yay. So as you can see at the top left, we it's really quick. Let me do it again. Just pay attention to the very top left of the screen. Let me um, get rid of the skybox so it's easier just to see everything. And then make the camera black. Okay, so let's come here to camera. And now just pay attention to the very top left of the screen. It's very fast. Alright, as you can see, it just went through a bunch of, you know, states. And now it's officially joined the lobby. Okay. Now, like, let's say you want to host a game and it just randomly chooses a level and stuff like that. So, all you have to do is, let's say... Uh, photon network create all right you create a room then we want to do photon network load level now as you can see it's an integer but we don't have to do integers see if you press up and down on your keyboard you can change between string and integer it doesn't matter you can leave it at int where it starts off just put a string instead okay so let's say uh, level one. Now, there's going to be a problem with this. Number one, it will load for you if you have a level one inside your build settings. But in order for it to synchronize with other players, you have to do this one simple command. Photon network automatically sync scene equals true. Now, if you do not include this, it will not automatically sync an updated scene to the players who are joining. So when they go to join, it's just going to stay in the main menu. Or so it's not going to do anything at all. So make sure if you're doing any kind of level loading or anything to always include this if they are the one hosting the server. Okay. Now you can easily do that by doing, let's come here. This is very important if you're doing stuff. Do photon dot pun behavior and get rid of mono behavior all right this is just another way of mono behavior but it has the photon stuff in it so just do photon dot pun behavior okay now what we're going to do um oh yeah we're going to do the photon if you're the master okay so all you have to do is and uh, let's just say this isn't going to work because we're not actually hosting a server right now well, we are, but we're not actually doing anything fancy, you know. We'll just name something public void change level master. Okay. Now, this let's say we're the master, okay. Well, first thing we want to do is um, private photon view master view. Okay. This is just a variable we set up. And we'll do master view equals, I'm hoping this will work. Let me, let me just pause it real quick. Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted right there. All right, master view equals photon network master client. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. I just wanted to make sure that was there. Now, let's save it and see if we have any problems. I got to turn off play first. Okay, yeah. All right. Can I convert type player pho photon player to photon view? Okay, so what we want to do is we'll see if we have this option. No. Okay. Um. All 
Oh yeah, we can just do that. Okay, we can do is master client. So if photon network is master client, then we want to do, you know, change level. So if we're actually in host a game, and if we're the master client, create room. Oh yeah, of course, I forgot about that. Create room. Now, this is important to know. You can't just leave it blank. There has to be some kind of property you put in it. And now, if you want to do like most Photon games are, random joining, random hosting and all that, you just put null. Okay. So there has to be some kind of a value in there. You just put null. And that's literally it. And now it'll actually, like, for example, let's save this. Scenes. We'll do MM for main menu. And now we'll actually start a new scene. And we'll save it as, what will we call it? Level 1. Level 1. Now, this is important. You have to do this. You go to File, Build Settings. Make sure the scene is inside Scenes and Build. It, just, it has to be. Okay, so we do that. Now we go back to our scenes, go to main menu, and we'll just make sure it's in there. It doesn't really technically need to be because we're not going back to it right now, but I'll put that up at top just so it's more structured. So now what's going to happen is as soon as we join the lobby, it's going to create a room, then it's going to load the level. Okay. All right. This is technically not working right now because we're, we're not doing none of that. That'll be another video later. Alright. Save it. And as soon as we hit play, it'll, after it joins the lobby, it'll load that level. Boom. We just loaded a level. It's really it's a bunch of simple stuff. That's why I love Photon. It's, it keeps it simplified. I mean, if you don't think this is simple, then <laughs> programming's not for you. Alright. That's it for this video. I want to cut this one off. If you have any questions or anything, just feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer. Alrighty.